and will be posted to YouTube shortly. Your participation in these meetings is in agreement to abide by a cloud native security code of conduct, which can be found in the repo. Uh, I need at least one person to volunteer as scribe. Uh, and that means basically take notes of whatever we discussed today in the link I just added in the Zoom chat and one more time. Uh, for existing members and working group uh, representatives, if please include your org name or company name or working group you're involved with and if you have any update in the attendee list. I, uh, today is a check-in meeting, so I am not expecting this meeting to be long. Uh, we also have uh, given the security pals people who are working on it uh, different assessments with a set of students uh, that uh, are in Justin's uh, course to come over and discuss if they have any uh, specific thing to discuss about security paths, but uh, otherwise, do we have any new members today joining in? I see mostly familiar faces. All right, uh, and uh, any issues that are pending or anything you are waiting on any one of us, let us know now. In terms of uh, other time zone meeting, I think there was a presentation. Uh, let me actually start sharing my screen. So all of us are looking at the same thing. All right, can all of you see my browser? With the meeting minutes, all right, perfect. Yes. Uh, so this is uh, the meeting minutes from the meeting that happened Earlier this morning, there was a presentation about uh, self-assessment ongoing in Kubernetes security for vSphere CSI driver. Uh, there are some notes and issue links here. Uh, take a look if you're interested. And I'm gonna check if people have updates on the attendee list. Okay, no updates. Um, Okay, no specific updates from TOC meeting as well. And uh, I think, oh, one second. I think I moved to the wrong one. All right. Uh, for project updates, uh, anyone here from any project that they wants to give an update? No new update from me on Zero Trust, but John, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say for the supply chain um, working group, we are um, currently working on a blog post, hopefully for the end of year, beginning of next year around um, policy. Um, more concretely, um, policy for supply chain security. So not organizational policy, not governmental policy. We're trying to strictly limit the definition of policy um, to things that, um, that are relevant to supply chain security. Also trying to address some things around adoption of policy, um, ways in which you can incrementally apply it. One of the, the big concerns is usually around um, an, an all or nothing approach. Um, and so we were trying to help folks understand just how to get started as well too. So um, yeah, it's, uh, We'll continue that conversation tomorrow. So, and uh, yep, that's that's the issue there, 1164. All right, perfect. Yeah, just wanted to make sure I got the right one. I'm gonna edit some notes and the link to the issue in the notes. All right, cool. Uh, on Zero Trust, uh, just quick update. I shared it with our TOC liaisons. Uh, there is a ticket with CNCF now. Uh, so I've requested them to start working on this. I uh, haven't heard back yet, but let's try to, uh, the goal would, I mean, our own self-assigned deadline is let's get this published before KubeCon Paris. So we'll see how that goes. Um, anything else anyone else wants to discuss? I don't see folks from Security Pulse here, so I'm guessing everything is going well there. Uh, but uh, yeah, if 
nothing else a uh, very quick meeting we can also finish early but one give want to give last 30 seconds if folks want to bring any last minute topics they want to discuss he just quickly i i, I think i'm behind on this but um, i'm just curious on the zero trust was there any uh, i know there was a talk about white paper right so uh, what's the current status on that quickly yes yes so it's been uh, reviewed for from bunch of folks already uh, this is the paper link and uh, I reviewed it before KubeCon. So current status is it's in review by TOC liaisons and there is a publication uh, process in progress uh, with CNCF. Uh, but if you have any thing glaring that you see that might be worth updating, I think it would be worth looking at this link. I'll put it in the meeting minutes but that's that's where we are on zero trust any uh, date for that publication or date uh, such or when is the last uh, when is the deadline probably for example uh, for for any taking any comments or anything like that yeah i or think that passed? yeah it has passed okay but uh, if you can find some time next couple of weeks have something uh, like we may not be able to make big changes, but any small change or something that is very glaringly uh, worth uh, discussing, we can get those comments in uh, in the next couple of weeks. After that, probably will be late. Is it, is it going to be published shortly then before the end of the year or something? Is that the target? Not, I think most of us, including me, would be busy end of the year, but uh, early next year, we will be publishing it. Okay, thank you. All right, cool. Um, anyone has any other topic that they would like to discuss? I see Anka, you're here. Uh, I actually have an update for you uh, if you want to talk about tag compliance. Yeah, when you asked about uh, if somebody has a topic, I was desperately looking where is my hand to <laughs> raise it okay. in, in Zoom. Okay. Okay, that is great. So let's discuss that. And uh, for folks who just joined, let me add a link to the meeting minutes. I'm okay, found the chat right here. Okay, just add yourself in the attendee list here, please. So we know you join. Um, about tag compliance. Uh, so there was, we did a uh, discussion with uh, our leads. Uh, we also discussed it with uh, TOC liaisons. I think uh, what they shared me a link about uh, how to get started on creating a tag, uh, uh, which is in the CNCF TOC repository. Please ping me uh, if I don't share that link with you, but they said to get started on that. Uh, one concrete thing I can share with you as a next step was, uh, as we were discussing, like as the tag creation process is happening in parallel, let's also utilize what we have at security tag to essentially uh, bootstrap and uh, get started on uh, different things uh, related to all the things that you and I discussed uh, in KubeCon. Uh, so for that, uh, we, think it might be best if we, if you go here in the issues and new issue, and uh, basically create a proposal here, uh, the proposal issue. So what that will allow us is, uh, if you fill this, fill these details, I think we already have stack, le stack leadership representation we have leaders like you and Robert. Uh, so once this is submitted, what we will do is we'll find one of the uh, tech leads uh, to help you out and assign them as the go-to person from our side. And then after that, we any logistics, like creating a Slack, creating a meeting, 
starting to discuss things we can use this issue as the place to figure that those things out mm -hmm. and uh, then you will know who, where to go anytime you have any questions i'll also keep track of this and that will become our uh, meeting place when there are no zoom meetings uh, to yeah, figure out you. what to do next so yeah, please do that uh, and then we can kind of go from there yes uh, so i'll create this um, on on our side, I finally got actually as of today all the green lights. You can imagine there is an internal process at IBM to you know uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, do the uh, submission of or uh, request to move our open source to the CNCF. Right. So we got all the approvals today. Um, so it seems that the first thing we need to do is really open um, a move uh, from IBM under our own work as part of the git uh yes. part of the github so not to be as part of the so um after that we are going to when we submit the actual request for uh the sandbox to appear under its own organization and not under ibm so this is our next step um as you know these are you know a few projects that are related because our goal is to bring not just a piece of the puzzle, but from mm -hmm. the get go to have covered the end to end process. So people can author compliance, they can create the rules and can they run it at nine time with a, you know, a enterprise grade um, a, a tool that allows right. them to uh, store the evidence in an immutable way and so on. So this way they have mm -hmm. the full um, the full end to end. So we, we try to do this in parallel for all these projects. It's a little bit of a, uh, because especially now in December, at the end of the year, people function at different levels of. Yes, so including that's me. Also yes. The reason, that's also the reason we didn't start the calls. We discussed at KubeCon that when we come back, we will start the regular calls between Thanksgiving and this cancellation. And I said, you know what? We will start it if everything fresh in January. Yeah. So at least we can have a pace, which is, you know, uh, more constant. So we didn't abandon the idea. Uh, that's why I joined today. Um, I was also out. So, but yes, we are we are on track and we follow as we discussed at uh, at uh, uh, KubeCon. So I'll go right now to open this issue so that we have a common place for. Uh, uh, I went also ahead and opened a Slack. I didn't know I need approval. So we have now a compliance tech Slack where we discussed the original. Um, I think a few people already uh, pointed us to where the uh, request for the sandbox is. So that's right. how we put the template and so on. So the, if you are looking at the compliance tag, uh, tag uh, compliance uh, uh, GRC, that, that's our, our Slack, which we created already. I hope it's I okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean... I, I I don't know how creation of Slack channels works now. Uh, at least in the when I created one for myself for one of the projects, I think I had to request somebody to do it because the permission wasn't open. But uh, uh, I think it's okay if you've created it. We can repurpose yeah, okay. it. Yeah. Maybe worst keep case, we, or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. Worst okay. case, we rename it to match the okay. conventions we have, uh, but I don't think it's like... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, of course, yeah, anytime. Okay, yeah. so right now we're just opening this issue and then we go with our uh, repo uh, uh, org naming and yeah. then submission to the sandbox starting the course in January. So that's the sequence, right? right? Okay. Okay, I Thank think that so sounds... For your, for your help. Okay. Yeah, no worries. This, that sounds perfect. Uh, totally get like start wanting to start in January. So I think getting this issue now is great in that respect as well. And glad you got all the approvals to make this actually open source. I know it sometimes it can be tough. So happy for that as well. Yeah, right. we, we are in research. So that's also a little bit easier than as ah, a business. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That explains a lot. All right. Perfect. Uh, anyone I, I has know, any other update? Um, Go ahead, John. So I, I was just going to ask, I know we previously discussed all the projects. Um, if you could put links in the notes to the projects, just for people um, following along, that would be super helpful. Thank you. Yeah. Do you have access to this document? The document that you shared in the in the, the Zoom chat? Yeah. 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 Same one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I could access. I put my name. I'll go down and add the links. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Cool. Uh, Anybody has any other topic to discuss? 
for folks who joined a bit late, uh, thank you, John, for scribing. And uh, this is a quick check-in meeting, so we won't go the whole hour. Uh, this was mainly to see if there is any interesting topics people want to discuss. But uh, yeah, uh, if we finish early, we finish early. Um, hello. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I'm completely new here. I did check the GitHub and how I can oh. contribute. Perfect meeting to join when we yeah. have sparse agenda uh, and there are new people, we can spend a lot of time on that. So uh, how do you pronounce your name? Uh, just Abhi is fine. Abhi, okay, cool. Uh, also like sometimes new contributors get surprised, but by the way, this meeting is recorded and okay. also we post it on YouTube. So hope that's okay. Yeah, no uh, problem. Uh, so yeah, so welcome Abhi. What brings you to tax security? Um, I like cybersecurity and I'm just interested in doing stuff for the cloud and building some skills. So. Nice. All right. How did you find out about us? Uh, because so we, I, we try to get more people involved, but sometimes we are successful, sometimes not. So when people actually show up, we want to know how that happened. Yeah. So um, one of my cousins works at Apple. He told me like a great way to build your skills is to contribute in CNCF. And then basically I jumped in the slack for there and just put a message like hey guys i'm interested in cybersecurity. what projects can i do what can i do and then someone pointed me here so oh perfect all right great i think that's a nice way to join uh so i'll share some of what we do and also uh kind of how to find opportunities to contribute and based on like what you're interested in you will find something hopefully uh, that matches what we want to do and what you want to do mm -hmm. So uh, let me, uh, so everything starts with GitHub for us. Uh, so this is our CNCF tax security repository. Uh, we are under the CNCF umbrella. So inside this, you will find all sorts of different projects and each of, uh, uh, TAG is by the way, a technical advisory group. And there are different tags for every domain. Uh, security happens to be one of them. And if you want, you can look up all the other tags here uh, and each of them have their own repository. So we are one of the oldest tags that has been around for four or five years almost. And most of uh, the things that we do can be found here. Uh, I'll go through some of the readme stuff and folks who have been around with us, if I miss anything, please jump in, uh, say what was useful for you and uh, that will help uh, Abhi as well. So this is like uh, our objective, what we do, why we do things, uh, where do we talk about things, since you have Slack, we have a mailing list as well. If you want to reach out to the leads and the chairs, you can use these mailing lists. Uh, this is about the meeting uh, times and how to join those meetings. We have a calendar that you can subscribe to uh, that will make sure like all those meetings show up on yours. Mm -hmm. uh, we do gatherings. Most of them are like on Zoom like this and some of them can be in person. Like we had one in KubeCon uh, Chicago uh, last, last month. Yeah, uh, or early this month. No, it's December, so last month, yeah. So last month, uh, and uh, it was called Security Hub. Uh, it was a part of KubeCon uh, proper. So day, day one, day two, and day three. And then uh, there is some history. Here are the folks uh, that you can reach out to in terms of uh, any questions you have. Uh, yeah, exactly. John is saying time flies when we are having so much fun. <laughs> uh, and... These are our some of our ongoing projects. Uh, mainly, that's what's been going on is security reviews and software supply chain. Currently, we have had other projects that have uh, happened uh, in the past, uh, and uh, we've paused them for now. So, though, but there is no reason why we can't uh, resurrect them again. And then we have a bunch of issues and pull requests. So. These are good ones to look at to see, is this something where people are looking for help? And is this something that matches what I would like to do? So for example, uh, John was talking about this and uh, they're 
creating a blog post uh, about this uh, particular topic. So if you're interested, what uh, we recommend is just add a comment here saying, uh, plus one, I would love to know more about this and possibly contribute. And so Marina would know like, okay, you're interested. And then people from supply chain working group will then be able to uh, take you forward in terms of what makes sense in terms of different contributions. Um, now, if we go here again, um, there are some different uh, artifacts that we have generated. I think the, the let's look at a couple of them. So we've created a, we've uh, drafted a security white paper or published rather. Uh, Forge in one was published in 2020. Uh, and then it was translated into a bunch of different languages. Version two was published in 2022 uh, and again translated in different languages. Uh, the goal was like, what does cloud native security mean in a very vendor neutral way? How do we go about as a, as an end user securing cloud native systems? Uh, so it's a very verbose, very big, long uh, white paper. Uh, feel free to read it uh, if you if you find it interesting. Then we have supply chain security as another thing, and it also generated a bunch of different things. So, for example, supply chain security paper, uh, just like the white paper one, but focused on this particular topic. Uh, we also uh, this is a very easy opportunity to contribute. We uh, document or uh, list of supply chain security compromises uh, throughout different years uh, and each year has a folder and if you go there then every co known public compromise which is documented here in the markdown and so you can if you know about one and you see one is missing you can add it yourself then this is the index for it if you see something in the index that's missing but added here you can add it in the index as well. Uh, so that's a basic summary of what we do. There are many other things I didn't cover, but uh, want to pause and see if this is helpful, Abhi. Yeah, that was very helpful. So if if I would like to start by with something, I would just go to the issues and then just click something and just talk to the person who's in charge. Yeah, I think that would be the best way. And uh, Take a look at pull requests that are open as well. Uh, if uh, if they are looking for reviews, uh, then it might be worth uh, looking at it as well. I think we are in a good spot right now where I don't think any pull request is waiting on specific reviews from a bunch of folks. Uh, but uh, if you see something, uh, just ask them like, are you looking for a review? I'm new. Uh, I, if you are looking, I would love to take a look. And then if they see, yes, we are looking for a review or no, mm -hmm. wait for a while. We are working on, it's just still a work in progress. Then we just uh, look for something else. Um, and generally the contributor flow, I use Dependabot as an example. Uh, and if Dependabot was my contributor, it would open a pull request this spot, but all of us could do the something similar. And then what happens is it GitHub, we have a GitHub action that will randomly pick some of the leads and request reviews from them. And after that, uh, in parallel, it will uh, create some jobs uh, to check for spelling, uh, linting, and some links if they're valid or not. And once all of those are complete, uh, the deploy preview uh, is ready. All of this looks green. After that, basically we go here and uh, one of us can click uh, approve. Uh, one of us has in one of the leads who have permissions to click approve. And once this is approved, we can basically squash and merge. And then after that, since this is specific to 
tag security website, which is here, uh, it yep. will then trigger a rebuild of the website. So in case you're curious, CNCF website is actually here. And uh, it's, it's, it's basically a very short form version of what we have in the repository. So if you if some people get uh, uh, sort of uh, overwhelmed with what is in on GitHub, this gives you pointers to where to begin, uh, like where to find the Zoom link, where to find the meeting, when do we meet, who are the people you need to reach out. So that's 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 where we are on the website side. So uh, that's how uh, things work more or less. Uh, we also meet every week uh, at this time 10 a.m. Pacific and then we have uh, another set of meetings uh, that are hosted from Europe uh, which happen uh, at five hours before this meeting uh, but it happens every other week so based on whichever time zone you belong to you can pick which whichever meeting you want and uh, join one of them or both if you want so that's about it uh, anything else anyone wants to add that I might have missed? Any questions, Abhi? Oh, no, that, that was quite straightforward. Thank you very much. All right, perfect. So I'll stop sharing screen. Any last minute topics? This is a check-in meeting for folks who join late. So we don't have any big agenda today. Just wanted to see if folks wanted to chat about something. And uh, if you haven't added yourself, add yourself to the attendee list uh, in the link here. So I'll go on mute for 30 seconds, make things a bit awkward uh, with my silence. And if nobody has any other topic, we'll close the meeting. All right, thank you everyone. Just a reminder, next week, December 13th, we have a presentation uh, from uh, Slash Ben, uh, Ben Hirschberg, about auto vex generation for projects with Cubescape operator. I just posted a link to that. So if that topic interests you or you want to learn about it, make sure to join that. And uh, I'll see you in a week from now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Eddie, you had something? Sorry, I heard something. I don't know if it was you. Oh, no, it just, uh, this meeting defaults to joining unmuted, apparently. I'm sorry. Oh, really? Okay, I, I'll try to see if I, we can fix it. Or, or my phone does. Either way, it's, uh, it's uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, oh, guys. No, no. I noticed that, too. It's not just you. Ah, okay. That's good feedback. Okay, uh, I'll take a look if we can modify that those settings. All right, cool. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, see you on uh, in a week's time or on Slack, whichever is first. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Next time. See you later. Bye.